This is the Samsung T7 Shield SSD and this is the Xbox Series S. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up the Samsung T7 Shield SSD to your Xbox Series S. I will also do a read test and also a write test by transferring games from the Xbox to the SSD and then from the SSD back to the Xbox. I will also do a gaming comparison between the SSD and the Xbox. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest then feel free to check it out. First, make sure that the SSD that you're using is formatted for your Xbox. To do this, plug your SSD in your computer and format it as a NTFS. In order to format it as a NTFS, you need to plug your SSD in your computer and once it pops up, go to File Explorer, go to this PC and under this PC, you should see the SSD. Then you're gonna right click on the SSD and click Format. In here you want to set the file system to NTFS because that's what your Xbox support. Then just simply hit start and once it's done eject it from your computer. Now turn on your Xbox, wait for it to start up then plug in your SSD. You have to use the USB type A to USB type C cable since the Xbox Series S doesn't support USB type C. Once you plug your SSD in, you should see a LED light to start to blink, indicating that the SSD is active. Quick side note, make sure that this is USB 3.0 or faster. If not, it's not going to work. It might work, but it won't work to save your game. So you need 3.0 or faster. Once you plug it in, you're going to go to settings on your Xbox and go down to the systems and go over to storage devices and then go down and you should see t7 shield right here so click on it and click on format for games and apps and click on this one right here format storage device hit okay you can rename it if you want let's call it xbox or something like that install things here keep current location uh install things here and just hit format after that you should be good and now you can move and copy your things as freely as possible to transfer games on the xbox to the external drive you need to press the xbox button and then select my games and apps after that you're going to select the game that you want to move by pressing the view button on your controller now click on move or copy Make sure that it says transfer from internal and transfer to SSD or in this case Samsung T7 Shield. Make sure to click on select all then click on move selected. Now just wait for the transfer process to finish. You may do other things while the game is transferring to your SSD but I recommend that you don't because it will only slow down the transfer process. So to move it back to the Xbox, all you need to do is go back to my games and apps and then go down back to that game and press this button again right here and then click there and click on move and copy and then right here you're going to see transfer from XB which is SSD to the internal storage which is on the Xbox. So make sure you select all and then just click move selected and it should start right away. check to make sure that it's on the xbox you can go back to games and apps and go to that game again and press that button again and click on it click move and copy and there you should see 
move from internal storage to xbox which i name it xp which is the ssd the external ssd so right there you know it's back on the game itself one thing to note is that you'll only be able to play games from the Samsung T7 Shield if it's an Xbox, Xbox 360 or Xbox One game. However, you'll not be able to play games that are Xbox Series X or S games or games that are optimized for the Xbox Series X or S. If you want to play every game with an external SSD then you will need to get the Seagate expansion card which will allow you to not only store games but also play all the games that are on the Xbox. Now let's do a game load test comparison with the Samsung T7 Shield SSD versus the Xbox internal storage. Let's see which one loads faster. Alright guys, so Battlefield 5 is kind of a recent game, so I'm going to show you guys that you can play it on the external drive. So let's press A and it's loading. Yeah, and it loads up pretty fast. Just press A. This is one of my favorite games right here. If you look at the SSD right here, you can see it is blinking like crazy. And you can go ahead and play any games that you want. You can do like an online multiplayer. Let's do an online multiplayer real quick. And just hit press play, skip. Um, let's just wait to find a squad. So we're currently waiting to find a squad. But basically, as you guys can see, I can pretty much play any game that is not like enhanced for Xbox Series X or S. So right here, I'm playing Battlefield 5, which is, if you ask me, it's a pretty nice game. So I'm guessing we're at a train station. I like this map right here. Also guys, sorry for no audio. It's because my screen doesn't have any audio. I can't deploy it there. All right, let's go here. I love this game so much, guys. You can see the response time is really nice. Everything seems really nice guys like yeah Wow This is really nice guys the graphics look good like you can see you're not really you're not losing anything at all guys Like the speed is good. Everything is just perfect Let's throw a grenade in there cuz why not? Let's try to see if we can get a kill Let's get a kill for the Ah, no. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You can see I'm playing Battlefield 5. Just wanted to show you guys that. That is it for this video, guys. Let me know if this video was helpful. Also, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section down below. Comment a gaming controller emoji if you reach this far in the video. That way, I'll know that you're a real one because you stick around to the end. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about this Samsung T7 Shield SSD, then check this video out. Peace.